Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is going to be a new mod map tour of Shamberg Valley. If this is what you're looking for, please stay tuned. All right, folks, welcome to Shamberg Valley. This is a map by ER Shaba. This is 442.16 megabytes to download, and this is for all platforms. So before we get into it, and down below in the YouTube slider bar, if you're just here for the tour, I can skip ahead to that. If you are just here for the flyover, you can also skip ahead to that. Otherwise, we're going to read some stuff off and talk about the map a little bit um, from the Mod Hub. So, um, yes, it does say all platforms. Um, I don't know what of the stuff that's on here is for all platforms, and you'll kind of understand that. On the PC, when you download it, if you download it for PC, there's two versions. There's a gold version and a silver. We're on the silver. Um, we're not going to go into the gold version. The gold version is kind of the Maze Plus edition, uh, so it has a lot more, a ton of crop types, absolute boatload of crop types. So um, tons of stuff you can do. There's absolutely tons. You will never get bored in this map. Absolutely. You'll never get bored. You will. You just can't. It's impossible, I think. Honestly, it's impossible. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's just just something to throw out there. Um, and our, another just kind of disclaimer, I'll say a disclaimer as far as this map tour goes, I will absolutely 100% miss things. 100%, gonna miss things. There's so much, I've already taken a look around this map um, and looked at several of the features and tried to uh, understand it. And I've typed out four pages of, well, I mean, it's in big print so I can read it, so it's not probably that impressive, but if I have four pages of notes, um, on my desk about the different factories and productions that are on here so I could hopefully uh, educate a little bit. And I have some question marks on my notes too as far as like this seems to be what it is, but I'm not 100% sure. So just take it with a grain of salt. Please leave comments down below to educate me about the map. I would love that. It helps out a ton. Don't be mean and be like, you're terrible and you don't know what you're doing. Uh, I'll just delete those comments if I'm just being honest, but because uh, we don't really support negativity on here. But anyhow, so we're gonna go and jump into it. Shamburg Valley. The Shamburgo Valley, a totally imaginary place in which you will be the owner and lord of a farm where you only have to worry about bringing your lands to the highest yield. You will have silos and warehouses to store all your crops and products to improve the performance of your land. In addition, you will have the challenge of giving life to four large animal stables located on the map. Apart from the cultivation of tomato as a great novelty in this map, you will be able to enjoy dairy, sheep, uh, yes, you read, you read that correctly, sheep's milk, so treat them well. All of this can only be done in the new farmer game mode. So key thing there, new farmer game mode. I think it says it again down below. Uh, but let me scroll down here a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Okay, and this is where you start, by the way, new farmer mode. And ignore the money. I'll explain that in a second. Um, map content, pre-installed farm and new farmer mode. Four pre-installed animal stables, cows, horses, pigs, and sheep in new farmer mode. Land to build your own farm and place your favorite buildings. 50 fields of all sizes and with the possibility of joining them. Eight forest areas of various sizes, winding terrain and great decoration. Three silage bunkers, one biogas, one biomass bunker. A great variety of points of sale for all your products. Product purchase points to take your fields to the highest performance. More than 20 factories integrated into the map and you don't need um, global company. I'm not running global company and all the factories appear to be working um and that's thanks to the fill type converter script storage for bales thanks to the object storage script uh, new types of crops uh, vehicles adapted to the cultivation of tomatoes carrots onions support for crop destruction support for maize plus and horse extension support for uh or standard support for season spawn support for dlc out on straw harvest support with own terrain mapping for precision agricultural dlc recommendable 100 percent to play a new farmer mode new farmer mode new farmer mode i'm just gonna say because i'll get questions uh to get the most out of it. i guarantee there'll be some of you that will comment hey i'm in start from scratch nothing's working uh, or something like that so i'll get that i'll get those comments or why isn't thing why aren't things working i always do uh anyhow so yes we are in new farmer mode you start off with a hundred thousand dollars however i uh, added in a bunch of money because i purchased the entire map because a lot of the factory icons that are on here don't pop up unless you purchase the land um yeah so we're gonna th there's a lot on this uh, as you can see so i'm trying to keep this map tour short and sweet still while still going through stuff um so there's a lot of there's a lot of production this is the main farm here that you start with um, right down in here. This is the main farm area here. Um, you have production plants literally on your main farm already. So uh, there's a lot of stuff going on and I will scroll through my notes to find what the different productions do so we don't have to actually go up to each individual one because that will take a while. Uh, but we'll try to drive through areas and then we'll talk about everything in an area um, and go through all that as we go. So I think, I think we're going to drive through Honestly, a part of me just wants to do a flyover and talk about it because there's so much. We might end up just doing that, to be honest with you guys, um, just because it might be a little bit easier for us to do. But if you look over here, I don't have any mods installed. 
um, this except for easy development, of course. So these are just the, the icons that come with it. Uh, so you have chickpeas added in and uh, lentils and tomato. Now there's other crops such as carrots and onions that it mentioned. That's only going to be on the other version of the map, as far as I can tell. This is the silver version, because I wanted to see what the silver version would uh, offer as opposed to the gold version, just so you guys would also have kind of an idea of that. So just be aware of that. Um, let's go through here. There are contracts on fields. I, I believe that's not a contract though for a field so i'm not i believe there's contracts again you start with a hundred thousand not that much i haven't touched any of the starting equipment so we'll take a look at in the store what we start off with there are a ton of sell points on here tons of sell points so uh yeah quite a bit on here um yeah let's go ahead and look in the store and see what we start off with so we start off with an organic we'll go over all this stuff in a bit uh you start off with a bridal k105 a special tank 2 a lemkin uh, a zero at nine you have the red plastic buckets in the back of the truck right now in front of us uh, we also have a Fet Fabric 515C, a uh, Case IH Puma 200 CVX, a Deutz Far 9340 TTV Warrior. We have a Rostel Mesh RSM 161 Combine. We have a pickup right in front of us. We have a, excuse me, a Bandit 750 trailer. We have the Draper Stream 900. We have the Horse Tiger 6DT, uh, the Solitaire 23 by Lemkin, uh, a small mower, a. Um, Jeez, a wind drawer, a small wind drawer, a bale loading wagon, a couple of weights, and we have plenty of our buildings, pastures, perimeter fencing of all farms. Holy smokes. Think and decide to play with fences on or off. <gasps> so these fences, which are everywhere on the map, we will, oh goodness, we can turn them off. That's incredible. I love that. That's a fantastic feature. We're right at the edge of the map, by the way, where we start. So that's the edge right there. And here we are. So um, this bucket, we're probably going to lose it, but we'll try to hold on to it. Actually, we're probably going to, yeah, we're just going to fly over, I think. I think we're just going to fly over. I'm sorry if you wanted something else, but I, I just think, I think that's just the way we got to do it. So I think that's just going to be the flyover map tour combo. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we'll talk about everything as we go. But let's take a look in here um, at, oh, actually, there's a couple things I want to look at. In the store, there's Shamburgo equipment. This has special tanks, tomato harvesting stuff, carrots, onions, uh, multi-fruit, all sorts of different stuff. Organic means you have now this organic filled type, which is... The compost? I think that's compost. But anyhow, so yeah, this is just, there's tons of stuff in here. Make sure you scroll through it, look at all. I'm not going to go through all of it. There's this a straw blower for chickpea straw, uh, since there's chickpeas on this map. So uh, yeah, there's tons of cool stuff on here, guys. Uh, a very cool map. Um, you will never get bored, just about guaranteed, um, pretty much. So and I don't know if there's anything else under like miscellaneous. I think they moved all the stuff that you need to be worried about. And again, there's custom textures for a lot of stuff. So yeah. Um, yeah okay what else is i gonna do what else do we need to look at real quick oh sorry you literally were gonna hit me um what was i gonna do something else i wanted to do i guess we'll just go into flyover oh i didn't want to take that screenshot but that's okay we'll go into flight mode and we'll then go ahead and jump up to here and we, oh that's the other thing i want to do we want to look in here so we have all our basic crop types uh coming up to here um we have seeds in here i don't know if there's sell points for seeds there's not which actually i'll see why i wish there was in a second uh, wool there's milk there and then we're getting into a lot of the stuff that i don't necessarily know what all the icons are going to mean i should have put the labeler in here but i mean we have some cool stuff down here we have fresh cheese we have cheese we have uh all i mean there's tons of fill types in here <laughs> oh gosh as you can see through here there's tons there's watermelons there's i don't even know what some of this stuff is but it's fantastic and you can sell it all so i mean obviously that's why you're going to make it um yeah so i think it's a really incredible map and a lot of good stuff going on in here there's been some really good uh, production maps that have been put out um by a lot of people so er shaba i know is he's got some good ones so um this is definitely not er shaba's only production map so let's go ahead and take a look at it so we're going to look down at the map here um right over here the bottom corner so i i would say focus on this map as we go around i will occasionally pull it up so you can kind of see where we're at in relation but down here what we have right here we are at uh, the garden market so let's see if there's even so some of these things show up and they're actually not in here as like a sell point and this one does not have it in here uh, so i don't even know what the garden market is i'm assuming it's a buy point for everything and again this is where i just have to make some assumptions and it, that does look like it, that's probably a slurry buy point there it's probably a, a bulk buy point there maybe a liquid buy point there so yes yeah, so i'm going to go with this as probably a buy point since the map does say it has those on there um okay we're gonna head up to here next i think so yeah we'll head up towards the slaughterhouse which gosh i didn't even look at some of the stuff i've some of it i've completely forgotten about um so up here we have the animal looks like an animal dealer which is gonna be right here 
bad part about if you're flying around um how do i switch that off um j okay there we go so we should be on the ground yep there we go and then the slaughterhouse right here not sure what the purpose is is it a cell point let's see in here slaughterhouse no it's not so see there's where i'm i'm thinking it looks like maybe a bulk buy point for a couple of different things like maybe tmr and pig food that's probably what it is see here's where i gotta start making some assumptions because i can't i don't have i mean I'm, i've already spent i'm gonna be honest i've already spent an hour uh typing up my notes and going through this map so i don't <laughs> can't spend all day on it but uh it's very cool get a drink of coffee there and you're gonna need that to keep me going all right let me toggle my flying back on um, and here is the main farm. So this is a really cool main farm first off. The layout's a little bit chaotic, but um, it's very cool regardless of that. And I'm, again, I'm gonna absolutely miss things on here. Uh, we have silos here for different stuff. Looks like probably tomatoes and sugar cane. That's what that looks like to me. And then we have like a hay silo there, like a hay loft. There's so much storages on this whole thing. Um, right here we have a repair trigger, which is noted on the map by this symbol right here, if we go, we zoom in real quick. So we have a little bit of a custom symbol there. And again, our equipment's gonna be parked in various spots. Lots of really cool detail, quite honestly, in a lot of this thing. Um, let's go down and take a look around here. Um, so yeah, like this looks like this is probably a storage facility. You just can't, it's hard to tell. I wish that, I mean, we can see what we can store if we go actually into here, that's what we should be doing. Um, so if we look at what crop types, all the basic crop types we can store, uh, potatoes and sugar beets and sugar cane all have a bulk storage somewhere. Um, those crops there, that looks like uh, potentially compost, digestate. Maybe that is slurry. That might be slurry. Digestate, uh, pig food, and lime, I believe, all have storages there. Uh, chickpeas can be stored. Tomatoes have a storage. Uh, so you can see we can store a lot of different crops in here um, on our farm. Now, if we go this way, back behind here, there's a, there's a farmhouse up here. I can get up to it. We can find where there might be a sleep trigger. Jeez, this going this fast is maybe a little bit ridiculous to walk around. Okay, there we go. That's a little less ridiculous. Yeah, here we go. I bet you this is going to be it right here. Yeah, so sleep trigger right there. Okay, so then if we walk our way down here, we have ch a chicken pen. Yeah, right here. I just jump to it. Chicken pen. There we go. 100 chickens there if we want to do that. Um, and then if we head over here, we have a silo set up. So this is a silo. This is, I'm assuming, going to be the main silo. And then we also have a couple of production plants on here. So this one right here is this the seed master. The seed master, if I look at my notes, I'm actually going to check these off as we go as well just to, to make sure that I've gone through them. The seed master will take slurry or digestate plus wheat or oats, and it will make seeds. And again, I don't know all the ratios and everything like that. Um, but that's that's what it's going to produce and over here. We have the Ferdy master, which is going to take um, Slurry or digestate plus manure or compost and you will make fertilizer I'm assuming solid fertilizer is what I'm gonna I'm gonna assume on that one uh, But yeah, that's kind of the main farm for us. Let's go ahead and fly up here We'll head up this way out this way. So there's some stuff going on out here if We open the map up. We want to head straight out to West Cooperative so we can take a look at that first uh, as we continue on here and I think I'll probably just keep um, let me get the map lower down. I'll probably just keep the speed to four times. Maybe we'll just bump it up to five. That'll be, yeah, that's about perfect right there. So West Cooperative, um, we're now out here at West Cooperative. Let's see if they're gonna take anything. West Cooperative looks like it is a sell point. They're gonna take uh, chickpeas and lentils. That's the other one that's there, sorry. Um, and then they're also gonna take our basic crop types, which is what I'm gonna refer to the first uh, seven on here, which is wheat, barley, oats, canola, sunflower, soy, and corn. Those are the basic crop types, what I'm going to refer to those as. Then if we head up through here, and I love some of the terrain on here. I mean, it just looks incredible. And actually, let me bump up the time so we can see a little bit better. But yeah, the terrain just looks incredible. Um, and down here, we actually have a production facility here. Um, this one is, oh, goodness gracious. I don't know where they're all at. This is biodiesel production. So biodiesel production is going to take organic trash and methanol and either soy, sunflower, or canola. So, and that'll produce um, biodiesel, which biodiesel is a pretty important uh, product for a lot of the productions on here. Um, the swimming pool, which let's take a look at that right here. This I'm assuming 
maybe we'll buy water, but I couldn't, I mean, I didn't drive a water trailer over here, but I didn't, couldn't find like a production window to come up anywhere. So I'm assuming this probably uh, purchases water or will take water. Maybe you can get water from it, but um, something to do with water, I'm assuming. And then over here, we have another factory. We have the, this is the Schamburgo uh, cheese factory, which is gonna take rennet, which I'm not sure what that is, milk, and it will take, so rennet and milk, and it will produce cheese for you. So that is what that one's gonna do. Um, okay, so now if we move up here, just moving along this road right here, we have the compost master down here. So this is the compost master. The compost master, oh goodness, let me find it on my list here. Compost master is going to take diesel or biodiesel or biogas plus compost and some other miscellaneous ingredients. So actually, let's go ahead and take a look at this one. Um, yeah, there we go. So it looks like compost. I don't know why it's going to take compost to make compost, but I guess it says that. Uh, potatoes, sugar beet, chaff, silage, wood chips, uh, manure, and straw. And then all again, then just diesel, biodiesel, or biogas. So um, that's how that production facility works for you. And then down here we have um, the biomass bunkers, which essentially, from what I can tell, because there's these signs down here. Now this one on the end, I'm assuming is miscanthus, which is going to be a maize plus only, I believe, on that on the gold version. Then these ones are wood chips and sugar cane, from what I can tell. So essentially, what I can tell from the biomass here is that if I well, I've had it written down here. Uh, it looks like you're going to take wood chips or sugarcane or miscanthus possibly and then you're going to put it in these silos these bunker silos here to ferment and it's going to give you biomass because biomass is a product so that's needed on the map for certain things so i'm assuming that's what those are going to do then we have we do have a pig pen down here which we own so we should be able to actually see how many pigs uh so 450 pigs here for us so it'll take 450 pigs and then down here we have again we have these little placeable areas around the map i'm not going to point out all of them but we do have them um, right here we do, if we work our way up, so we've worked our way up around here, uh, we have the mixed ration, so we, ha we actually have a, a, a mixed ration mixer, which I think, I don't even know if it shows up as a production or not, if I get down here to it. I'm assuming you can just put in the appropriate products, and it'll mix it for you, possibly, but mixed ration silo. Um, I don't think that's a sell point. I think that's actually a silo like it says. Yeah, but I just want to double check. So it does have the icon as if it is a sell point. So I'm assuming you can store uh, TMR here. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and, and fly up. So over here, one of, uh, one of the factories right here is the uh, pellet factory. The pellet press, pellet factory. What did I write down? What is it actually called here? Um, it is called the uh, the pellet factory. So you're going to take water plus biodiesel plus biomass, and there's where biomass is needed, and you're going to get pallets of biomass pellets. So pallets of biomass pellets. Sorry, a bit of a tongue twister there, uh, but there you go. So that is what is going to happen here. Now, if we look at the map, we've kind of reached the edge here. So we're going to start cutting over this way, and we're going to get to that biogas production facility uh, here just up this road. So right here, we have the biogas production facility. Um, the biogas production, if I can pull it up on my list here, here we go, is going to take water plus either biomass or manure, and it's going to produce biogas, which makes sense because it's the biogas production. Um, and the biogas can be used in certain productions, uh, such as like the compost master biogas will take it um, and stuff like that. It would be nice to have like a production map uh, as far as you know, kind of like the B add-on had that kind of nice production map, but I don't I don't really have the time to necessarily put that together right now. Um, down here we have the flower factory, so I'm actually gonna leave that the map open like it is there, uh, at least for the time being. So we have the flower factory right here. Um, the flower factory is gonna take water plus biodiesel. So this one is specific, it needs biodiesel apparently, plus wheat, plus oats, and it's gonna give you whole wheat flour. So not wheat or oats, it does say wheat and oats as far as the production goes. Um, so there you go. Now let's head up here. Well, back up here to the main route. This is going to take us over to kind of a lot of stuff going on over here um, in this chunk of the map. So first up, we do have an animal pen down here. And I own all the land, so that's why it's let me take a look at everything and uh, be nosy about it. 300 sheep you can have here. Um, and there was a sheep milk point somewhere, but I can't remember. I couldn't find it earlier. Fuel station, it said it was like sheep's milk or, or what was it? Yeah, it was sheep milk. Isn't it sheep milk that you can get off of here? I'm pretty sure it was the sheep milk, wasn't it? it wasn't, I mean, I'm not sure what else it would be. And you're not gonna get horse milk, I'm sure. But yes, I'm sure, yeah, it's sheep's milk. Okay, uh, anyhow, so we have sheep here and we have a fuel station right there. And then we have the old haystack, which is a sell point for us. So the old haystack is going to purchase 
uh, looks like silage grass hay and straw as well as uh chickpea straw which i believe that's what that is and that is everything for us there let's go back into flight mode again here's the fuel point so you have a gas station there if we work our way up here um on the left we have a uh, cell point right here as well as this actually might be almost kind of looks like a power gas plant the Ferdyberg. Uh, the Ferdy Berg. Let's see if we, that is actually something in here. Yep, there it is. They are going to purchase. Um, I don't even know what that crop type is. That might be compost, possibly, potentially. It uh, looks like they're going to purchase lime as well as manure. Um, and, oh gosh, I'm not sure what that is. That's, I think that's forage? Might be forage. That might be TMR. Or is that wood chips? That's going to be wood chips. Um, that might be... I'm not sure what that one's going to be, to be completely honest with you guys. I don't have the mods installed to see what everything is. Uh, the North Cooperative, I is that in here? That should be in here. Take a look at that one real quick. North Cooperative, you're going to take your basic crop types and chickpeas and lentils, and that is everything. And then we also have down here, so the North Cooperative is right up over right here. So here's the North Cooperative. And then if we head back down to this cluster down here, we have three cell points mixed into this, this mess here. Uh, so we have the, the dairy, uh, the great trade, and the local distributor. The dairy is going to take um, sheep's milk, milk, um, soy, and oats. Um, and then if we go down here, the great trade, well, that was the other one, right? The great trade. Yep, the great trade and the local distributor. Uh, the great trade takes a lot of the custom crops, I believe. So it takes eggs. Um, and then if we go down here, yes, it's going to take both types of cheeses. It looks like uh, probably biodiesel, biogas, um, barrels, um, barley juice, um, barrels of barley juice, uh, laminate, flour, sunflower oil, sugar, um, soy drink, ketchup, uh, pellets, watermelons. And I'm not sure what those are at the end. Um, so I'm not sure about those guys there. But that's what the Great Trade is going to take. Then the local distributor is going to purchase um, tomatoes as well as potatoes, sugar beets, and sugar cane. So kind of like a, a root crop buy point there. And that is what we have up here. So now if we take a look at the map, um, we've taken a look at all this stuff. So we're going to start working our way out down here. So if we head down here, um, we're going to come up to the laminate board and the barrels um, just up over. They're actually up over here, aren't they? Yeah, right up over this way, we're going to get to them. So this road kind of loops around, gets them out here. So here we have the laminate boards and the barrel production. Or actually, sorry, this is not the barrel production. Excuse me, this is the juice, uh, the juice seller. So we have laminate factory and the juice seller. So the laminate factory, if I can find it um, on here, of course it's on the one that's on the bottom here. A laminate factory is gonna take water plus biodiesel plus wood chips and it'll produce laminate boards. And then the bar, or we're not, it's not the barley juice, it's the juice seller. Where's the juice seller at here? On my list, the juice seller. Oh, maybe I didn't write it down. I swore I wrote it down somewhere. Oh, the Cooperage. I wrote the Cooperage down. This, this isn't the Cooperage, is it? Yeah, it's a juice seller. Cooperage should be where they make the barrels. So I think I got them a little bit confused in there, but I believe we'll just go. Um... Oh, yeah, I put them in the same ones. Okay, yeah, so it's going to take barrels. This is the juice seller is going to take uh, biodiesel. Bar I, I accidentally put my... Uh, in to in. It's going to take biodiesel plus barley juice plus wooden barrels and give you barley juice barrels. So that makes sense. Um, now if we head over here, we have a pig food silo. Just up right here. So I'm assuming, or is this the pig food silo or what does it say? Yeah, pig food silo. I'm assuming you're just able to store pig food here, potentially mix it because it kind of looks like there's a mixer here. I'd say you might be able to actually mix pig food here. Um, so there you have it. Now what we're going to do from here I think we're gonna cut, we've taken a look at the flower, I think we're gonna cut um, in and take a look at these guys and work our way down this kind of big cluster of stuff and then kind of work our way back up here and wrap up around um, right up here and kind of talk about all that stuff. So yeah, and I'm looking at my time for the, the map tour. It's We've absolutely gone off the rails. There's the Cooperage in there, by the way. We've absolutely gone off the rails as far as time goes. So um, trying to save as much time as possible has, uh, I think if we've driven around this map, I think that this, uh, this map tour would have been far too long. So I apologize if you didn't see as much of the scenery, but a lot of the main part of this map is the production. So I wanted to make sure I covered a lot of that. 
So down below us here, we have the sugar factory, which the sugar factory is going to take um, sugar beets or sugar cane. If I can find it on here. Yep, sugar beets or sugar cane, as well as biodiesel and water. So that's how you're going to get stuff from the sugar factory. Um, if we, let me get a drink of coffee here. Ah, fantastic, fantastic. Okay, now if we head up here, we have a couple production plants just across this little uh, waterway here. We have a little uh, placeable area as well, by the way. Yeah, and all these areas are nice and little small chunked. And if you so if you want access to the factories, they're all chunked up. And you can buy the whole map if you want. That's 15 million for all that extra space. Um, but yeah, all the factories are little chunks of land, which aren't too much to buy. So, um, okay. So we got lots of stuff going on here. If we open up the map here, we have, um, actually it's not even gonna show me there. So we have the cooperage, which is gonna take water plus laminate boards and make you barrels. Then we also have the sunflower oil production, which is gonna take water plus biodiesel plus sunflowers and make you sunflower oil. And then we also have the fresh cheese factory, which is different than the, uh, the, the uh, Schimberg cheese factory. This one is gonna take uh, rennet or rennet plus sheep's milk and get you fresh cheese. Um, and there's also a couple of water tanks. Let's see if I can get one over here. There's one like just under that. Can't, no, nope, I can't select it. There's a couple of water tanks on the map, which I believe are just water storage. Uh, so I just wanted to mention that as well. Um, okay, we'll head down and then we're gonna go back towards uh, kind of town over here. And we're gonna head down and take a look at some of the stuff in here. So um, just below us right here in this area, we have a village carpentry actually over to the left. And then we have textile industry and small business. So small business is gonna buy eggs as well as the cheeses. Uh, looks like biodiesel, um, barley juice, barley juice barrels, uh, flour, uh, sugar, soy drink, ketchup, uh, watermelons, and this mystery fruit at the end. Um, and then we also had the textile industry here, which they are going to purchase. Oop, if I can scroll. Uh, wool and cotton. So essentially it's your um, spinnery equivalent. And then what was the other one we had right in here? Um, the village carpentry, that's right. Village carpentry is going to purchase, make sure I don't miss anything, they're going to purchase wood chips. And that is everything. So they're just going to take wood chips from you. Now, if we work our way down here, there's this ranch right here, which I'm not sure how it all works out. This is the place where it's tagged, and it looks like it might just be... Okay, so it does say it doesn't have a capacity on there, so it looks like it's just like a horse point, essentially, I guess, potentially. But, yeah, so there you go. So potentially just a horse, a horse place or a place for you to have your horses at. Um, and then if we go down here... We got some more production. So right here, just below us, if we go to the map, um, we're again, we're down here. So we're at the barley juice production. The barley juice production is gonna be made with biodiesel plus sweetener, plus water, plus barley. The sweetener, I can't see another place where you can produce it. So I'm assuming it's probably just like sugar maybe, or maybe, I don't, I'm not sure, I haven't tested it out. So I'm not sure exactly what you need to put in to be able to use that uh, specifically, but it does say sweetener as far as the, the factory goes. Um, and then also down here, Let's go ahead and take a look. So we're, we got the ketchup um, right down this way. So if we go just down here, right here, we have the ketchup factory. The ketchup factory is gonna take um, biodiesel plus water plus tomatoes, and it's gonna produce uh, ketchup for you. So that is the whole uh, purpose behind that. And we actually have gone through most of the factories now. We just have a few left. Um, so let me see here. Yeah, we got, uh, yeah, okay. Just should have just two left. Uh, one, two, yeah, just two up over there. We have several more cell points and stuff to look at, uh, but just two of those left. We have a fuel point down here as well as the main shop is right down here. And if we continue up over here, we do actually have a wood crane. So this is gonna be your wood cell point here. So you can get into the wood crane and move it around. Um, but this appears to be your wood cell point, which I'm, it looks like you might actually have to uh, throw them into the, the pit there, which is kind of cool. Let's go ahead and actually, some of you guys might be interested to know that. So let's go ahead and spawn in just a four meter log. I need to fly out of here, of course. Oop, I got into it, get out. Let's go to the trigger. Okay, so I did sell it, <clears throat> excuse me. And now I'm not sure if you can sell it if it's over here as well. Let's put one there and put one over. Some of, the, some of you, that might be a, just a bit of a deal breaker. Let's see if I can get out of here again. I got ran into the pit. Oh, 
Oh boy. Well, I skipped. I must have hit tab on accident. Let's jump back over to here. Okay. Let's go see as far as selling stuff goes. No, we're not selling any of it. So you do have to put it in the pits. That explains the crane. Uh, very cool. So it just makes it some of you guys that might be super frustrating, but it does add a little bit of extra stuff to it. Um, the Southern Cooperative we haven't been to, but that is just a sell point down there at the bottom. I don't think we've been to the Southern Cooperative yet, have we? Did we go there first, maybe? No, we went to Garden Market first. So the Southern Cooperative, um, they should have right there. So they are going to take chickpeas and lentils, as well as your basic crop type. So just like the other cooperatives. Now if we head up this way. We have another sell point just below us here. Um, if we look on the map. Um, we are at the sugar industry, which the sugar industry is going to purchase. If we go across, um, sugar beets, sugar cane, and that's everything. So that's what they're going to purchase for you. Now, if we head over here, we have a cow pasture down here. So if I go ahead and let me, like, I think, yeah, that's the entrance right down there. Let me hop out of fly mode. Uh, 400 cows here for you if you want to do cows. And if we head back up over the ridge here, we have a sell point here as well as a factory uh, just right here. So this is the soy drink factory, and this is a sell point here. Um, so the sell point here is David the Old Farmer, which if we go to the top, I believe he's up at the top. David the Old Farmer is going to buy um, chickpea straw, uh, hay, grass, and regular straw, and that's everything. And then the soy drink production is going to take biodiesel plus water plus soybeans and give you a soy drink bottle. So there you go for that. And now if we, oops, sorry, got looped around. We have the biogas plant up here as well, which the biogas plant, since we own, should show up in here. I believe it's in here. BGA biogas plant. Oh, maybe not. No, it's not in here. If we go to the map, uh, great biogas of the east. Oh, that's what it's called. There we go. That would explain it. Uh, they're going to take silage, grass, and hay, as well as manure and slurry. And that is everything for the great biogas. And then we have, actually, what else do we miss here? Let me go on the map. Um, yes, we've hit everything except for garbage collection and uh, the watermelon orchards down here. Now, the garbage collection, I believe, is a sell point. Garbage collection, and they're going to buy the trash. I'm assuming that's trash and recycling, maybe. Um, but they're going to purchase that off of you, which is... I think incredible. I think it's just a cool feature. And that's this guy right down here. This is the garbage, garbage collection center. And then we have a few points down here for raising watermelons. Um, so one of the one of the input types was a little messed up. So I'm not sure what it is, uh, but it's water plus uh, biodiesel plus maybe a seed sacks or something along those lines. And you get melons. It had a little bit of an XML issue. But anyhow, that is all the production on here. And after 32 or four, 34 minutes, 32, 34 minutes, somewhere in there. Um, we are done with the map tour. So if you guys enjoyed this uh, map tour, please drop a like down below if you haven't already. Hit the subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. That has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and watching.